So today we're going to talk a little bit about what the hell Blizzard's doing with Mr. Pandaria Remix. I don't understand it personally, but there is evidently a nerf war going on. And I can't figure it out for the life of me, because I thought Mop Remix was supposed to be this great fun thing where you just become overpowered and level up 50 characters in preparation for the war within. It was really supposed to be a no rules, all, you know, all things gone, just do whatever you want moment. And Blizzard's really come down like the fun police and stop the coming from happening, so to say. You take that how you want. But here it is. Let's talk a little bit about this real quick first. Tusk Samanaroth, if you got it already... Um, and you're not a plate where you may have not been able to transmog it onto your character. Have no fear. Blizzard's gonna fix this. Yes, the fun police do also do other things as well. And that includes fixing actual issues in the game. So this will be fixed for you. Just don't worry about it. It's gonna get done. Here's the thing you can do. Okay, this one should not get nerfed because this is an actual thing in the game that was supposed to be here. So this is what you should be doing if you want to get more threads for your cape. And that's a good thing to do because it's going to help you level up quicker and get things done faster. Trove of Treasure Kings, a daily scenario that you should be doing for your threads. How are you going to get this? In order to unlock the Trove of Treasure Kings scenario from Mop Remix, you need to unlock the Isle of Thunder. In Mop Remix, you must get to at least level 50 and then complete the chest queen, uh, <laughs> the chest queen. The quest chain, Thunder Calls, uh, either on the Horde of the Alliance. Once you unlock it, you can do it every day, and the first time you get it, you'll be able to turn in the quest for uh, some uh, threads. I don't know how many it is. Three? One quest will get you the key. That's right, so you can do the key scenario. Once you get the key, you do the scenario, and then you can get yourself some threads. How many threads that is? I'm not sure. There's a five-minute timer on this shit. Uh, four main routes, three unlocked doors. You go through the thing, you do the things, and you get a bunch of threads. It's a good idea to do it. And again, this shouldn't get nerfed because this was in the game by design. This isn't something that players just discovered on their own. So go in there, make sure you're doing this on the Isle of Thunder. It's a good one. Um, in terms of, okay, nerfs. Here's the first one. It's not really a nerf, but it's clearly a time-gated time policy by Blizzard here. Shadow Pan Assault Reputation is weekly instead of daily. So if you didn't know this, you got raids that you can do on a weekly basis, right? The Shadow Pan Assault Remix has faced uh, a strange quirk. Then Reputation gains obtained can only be done once a week. Blackfish, thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to our Scourge, or should I say, continuing to be a Death Knight of our Scourge now. Wow, 12 months. One year being subbed to me. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? But thank you. I understand some people enjoy just being surrounded by degeneracy. Thank you so much. Once a week instead of the the daily, as you would think it would be, because raid bosses are, are, are a daily thing in Mr. Pandora Remix. But Blizzard has made this a once a week thing. Why? Why? Because they want to time-gate the shit out of this process. And I don't understand what it is. Why Remix has become this time-gated thing, I'll never understand. Because I really thought it was supposed to be Hey, you want to level a guy in three days? Go ahead, do it. And it seems like Blizzard Team wants to take that away. Let's get more into this. The Kun Lai Summit Farm is another thing that was discovered. And honestly, I'm telling you guys, if Wowhead posts one of these things, just beware. It's going to get nerfed. I don't know if Blizzard's watching this shit on Wowhead. Maybe they are. But every time something is posted here, it gets nerfed into the ground. Kun Lai Summit Farm, I believe, has already been nerfed. Uh, this was something that people were going to the Kun Lai Summit, and basically it was another hyper spawn point where people were just going around killing shit, and it's not happening anymore. They've nerfed the shit out of that hyper spawn. Another one, the Zandalari Troll Farm, another hyper spawning point on the Isle of Thunder. This one, as of now, has not been nerfed yet. But by the time this video goes live on YouTube, who knows? Might be nerfed. It's another point that Blizzard has nerfed. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about all of these nerfs and why they're happening. Timeless Isle Rare Loop. This one has not been nerfed yet, for sure. So what's the good thing about Timeless Isle Rares? Unlike the uh, current version of Rares in Retail WoW, Rare Loot is not locked, right? So it's a thing that you can do multiple times in a day. Every time you kill the Rare, it can drop threads and other things and bronze included. So farming the Rares in this location, the Timeless Isles, is a good idea. Their spawn is pretty, you know, um, what's it called? It's pretty regular. It's got a good cadence to it. So you can actually go around to these spawn points and just kind of create your own route and just go through them and kill them over and over and over to get things. That's a lot of fun. Uh, no, it's not, but it's a grind. You can do it anyways, and it hasn't been nerfed. I don't think Blizzard's actually going to nerf this one because this is literally you just running around and doing the extra stuff that you need to do to get the extra things. It's not really a hyper spawn or anything like that. It is a by design. Yes, they're going to spawn over and over, and you can go around and kill them over and over if you want to do it. Uh, this one, Ordon Sanctuary, this one has been nerfed already. 
another farm, another hyper spawn point that has been nerfed, and last but not least, all of these nerfs happening, which was the king of them all? The frog farm. Well, Blizzard has retroactively destroyed the frog farmers. It happened. It happened. Yes, we recently, I reported on a, a, not too long ago last week actually, that Blizzard had implemented a little thing that actually was able to identify where people got their bronze from, right? And Blizzard was able to identify who got them specifically from the frog farm. So not only has Blizzard identified these people, they have punished them. They did. They did punish them. Yes. The frog farmers have been punished. Their cloaks have been reset to 2,500 each, uh, right? And they're giving 40k bronze if you are identified as a non-frog farmer to the people who didn't do it. They didn't nerf shit. They have 550 plus gear, you rat. Well, their cape has been nerfed and they're trying to give a catch up to people who didn't do it. Okay, so if you if you are identified or flagged as a non-frog farmer, you will get a quest at the Jade Forest to get your 40k bronze at level 70. So it's just a quest. Literally, you hit level 70, you go to the bazaar, and you get your 40k bronze. If you are flagged as a frog farmer, you do not get those 40k. Now, how much frog farming you did, what the line is to cross over between whether or not you're flagged as an official frog farmer or not, nobody knows what that number is. But evidently, if you frog farm just a little bit, you are not get you are not going to get flagged. There was a certain number, arbitrary number people picked that uh, Blizzard picked, that will flag you as an official frog farmer. You will not be able to do the quest. Your cloak has been nerfed to 2,500. No matter where you got your shit from, they're not making sure. Oh, this was from the frog farming. This wasn't. No. If you are identified as a frog farmer, your cloak has been nerfed to 2,500. It just it is what it is. 40k is one big mount. Yeah, yeah, it is. Or a bunch of upgrades and things like that. Look, overall, I'll be honest. Where Were these far, uh, farms broken? Yeah, these hyper spawn points were broken. By the way, these things existed in Mists of Pandaria when actual Mists of Pandaria was live. Okay, but here's what I don't understand. Why is Blizzard doing this? This is a side event. This is a little fun thing on the side. Okay, this is not main retail. Wow. This is not a hyper-competitive mode. This is literally a mode where people were just supposed to have a good time and break the game. Essentially, that was what it was described as a, you know, oh, you're going to become godlike, overpowered, break the game kind of thing. I and mean, even when people tested it on beta, that's what they were doing. People were just putting all kinds of gems and gearing out and doing all this shit to try to break the game. And now Blizzard's come in and they're like, they're treating it like it's an official game mode. Like it's like it's retail WoW. I don't understand it. Personally... If I was running Blizzard at this time, which would be great. You know, we'd have hot tubs, uh, streamers, you know, doing all that. But anyways, if I was running this shit, I would have let this thing go on forever. I don't care. Why does it matter what people are doing in this game mode? I understand some people are complaining, well, I'm not getting invited to certain shit, and I'm not... Get, fucking leave the frog farm open. You want to get invited to shit, go do the frog farm for a little bit. I don't understand it personally. Why Blizzard's treating this like an official game mode. Why they're trying to time gate the shit out of it with things like Shadow Pan rep and thing. So what? So what? If people want to play this game mode over and over, or if they want to time gate the shit out of it, people will do it by themselves by playing 50 alts. They'll just time gate it themselves. That what I mean by time gate is they they will create playable content for the foreseeable future until the next expansion comes out. And I think that's what Blizzard's trying to do here. They want this game mode to last long enough that it basically takes you to the war within uh, uh, pre-patch. That's their worry. That people are going to complete this too quickly and there's not going to be anything to do. To me, that's dumb. If somebody's playing Remix, they enjoy alts. They enjoy kind of game-breaking shit. They enjoy just having fun. And they're going to create 50 alts. These people are altaholics. And they're going to basically play this until it comes out, whether or not it's nerfed or not. You really weren't having fun when you get into a raid, though. It was like five bosses, a fight is over. You didn't even ha you didn't even have to be there. You could be AFK'd. But yeah, but that that's fine. It's a broken game mode. It doesn't matter. If you want to play real raiding, go play retail. Wow, that's how it should be. They probably were going to nerf uh, the ward BS as well. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Look, they're going around and nerfing all this shit. They've made it very clear that they don't want any hyper spawn farming going on, and they want this game mode to last as long as possible. That's the truth. Uh, Froggers legit make you feel like a, like a side character, a.k.a. a Samicus and Ra <laughs> Mythic Plus. Look, I understand the frog farming was a bit excessive. They could have nerfed it a bit, 
and just left everything else to, to be what it is. You know? Because frog farming, I'm sure, was not the most, you know, enticing and fun gameplay. But it's at the end of the day, this is just a side game mode. This is just a side game mode. It doesn't need to be perfectly balanced and well done and thought out. It's just supposed to be broken as shit anyways. So let it be broken. Always use another Damn. Death Knight. 13 months. So where does this leave us at the end of the day, boys and girls? Just understand, things are going to get nerfed. Blizzard wants this to last as long as possible. And that's just part of this game mode. Wow Remix is what it is. And that's what it's going to be.